तो किसी ने क्या खूब कहा है मैं अकेला ही चला था मैं अकेला ही चला था जानबे मंजिल मगर लोग साथ आते रहे कारवा बनता गया जी हाँ कुछ ऐसी ही दास्ता है मिस्टर सेंथिल विल की मिस्टर सेंथिल विल जिनकी आंखों में एक सपना था कि हमारे भारत की संस्कृति हमारा जो ट्रेडिशनल आर्ट है उसका पूरी दुनिया में नाम हो हर कोई जान सके कि इंडियन फोक आर्ट एक्चुअली में क्या है तो आज गांजली अरोड़ा टॉक शो का ये एपिसोड डेडिकेटेड है उनके एनिवर्सरी एपिसोड में जी हाँ एक साल हो गया है इंडियन फोक आर्ट गैलरी की वेबसाइट को ऐसी वेबसाइट जहाँ आपको हजारों तरह के ट्रेडिशनल आर्ट देखने मिलेंगे जहाँ आप आसानी से कहते हैं अपने देश की संस्कृति हमारे भारत देश का जो असली हुनर है देख सकते हैं इंडियन फोक आर्ट गैलरी में आज तक एक साल में जुड़ चुके हैं 400 से ज्यादा आर्टिस्ट जी हाँ ऐसे आर्टिस्ट जो मिलकर इंडियन फोक आर्ट को प्रमोट कर रहे हैं हमारी वेबसाइट पे उनकी गैलरी है पर्सनल गैलरी जिनको बनाने के लिए कुछ चार्जेस नहीं लगते हैं आप अपनी पर्सनल गैलरी बना सकते हैं इंडियन फोक आर्ट गैलरी में एंड इवन आपकी जो कहते हैं ना आपकी जो पेंटिंग्स हैं हम खुद पर्सनली प्रमोट करते हैं ताकि ज्यादा से ज्यादा लोगों तक आपका ये टैलेंट पहुंच सके और आपका सेल्स भी बढ़ सके ऑफ कोर्स तो चलिए मिलते हैं मिस्टर सेंथिल विल से जो हमें बताएंगे इस बारे में और भी और कैसे ये शुरुआत हुई गैलरी की और किस तरह से उनके फ्यूचर प्लान है तो चलिए बहुत सारे लव और बहुत सारे लाइफ के साथ स्वागत करते हैं मिस्टर सेंथिल विल का आपका बहुत बहुत स्वागत है टॉक शो में सर जी मिस्टर नमस्ते इट्स ऑलमोस्ट वन ईयर यू बीन टू आर शो या टाइम वेंट सो फास्ट इट या या एंड इवन आर टीम ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ माय टीम आई वांट टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट के इंडियन फोक आर्ट गैलरी को हो चुके हैं एक साल एंड दिस इज अ स्पेशल एपिसोड आई टोल्ड टू माय ऑडियंस अबाउट इट होगा and we also have given a lot of let's say um, business to the artist mm-hmm. the last uh, 12 months so from that point of view i think uh, feel that we have uh, achieved the basic uh, motive behind the whole journey and also we there's a lot to be done i think uh, for, uh, i feel that we have as a team uh, come and delivered what we wanted to achieve in the first year So very happy. So, लेकिन हर कहते हैं ना कि हर सिंगारी होती है तो आग लगती है तो ये सिंगारी आपको कब लगी फैशन की कि हमें वेबसाइट बनानी चाहिए? आई ना इंस्पिरेशन हैज बीन बेसिकली व्हेन आई स्पोक टू माय गुरु एंड आई वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट आई डन इन द डिड इन द कोविड विदाउट नो विथ नो ट्रैवल एंड ही मेंशन Uh, they are facing in the current industry uh, because of the uh, no travel no tourists coming to shops mm. and uh, they are struggling to sell art and most of this uh, traditional artist don't have infrastructure like uh, other big artists yeah so they don't have website they don't have knowledge about websites so so i thought okay maybe i can help um being i would say i am a little bit more privileged than uh, the other artist so as an artist i thought that we should help fellow artists uh, in some way so that was mainly how it started and i started with uh, thinking about to help my guru and then we thought maybe let's do for the entire tanjore painting uh, community but as i started talking um, to a lot of artist it was obvious that the entire industry art industry um is actually uh, having difficulty to sell art work so i said okay let's let's focus on the folk art because this is typically the traditional artist who are not educated and they don't have the infrastructure 
even solid uh, uh, technologies to go and uh, grow the business. So from that point of view, I said, maybe let's look at uh, this at a bigger picture and see how we can help everybody. And that's how it started. So basically a small discussion with the with it, my Guruji and then ended up with the idea that let's let's do this at a bigger scale and help everybody as much as possible. So that's that's how it started. So, but then also it's not easy. Like you know, and you want it with the motive of helping people. It uh um, COVID time say that was a uh, time when behavior change ho raha tha. everyone was thinking ki sab koi selfish hai, har se kisi se distance rakho. So, aise challenges aapko face kiya, karne pade. Jab aap contact kar the artists ko and they were thinking, you know, something motive is there. Maybe financial or self gain. Aye, that is very right actually. Uh, initially, thoda to problem hota. Initially, when we contacted people to say we want to help, a lot of people said, why this guy wants to help, you know, kya, kya chakkar gaya? To... But after we got few and then we started getting some sales for the artist uh, and slowly the confidence was building and then um, and we, we started getting artists uh, coming forward and we also invested a lot of time to promote um, the artworks and that's how we slowly got, got the momentum going. Uh, once we had established that yes, this is genuinely trying to um, uh, set up websites for artists set up uh, uh, schools online schools for art, uh, artists to teach and also a good platform for someone to learn so we, we brought that together but then i think we started getting some credibility that uh, that yes there is something that we we are we're not promising that you'll become rich uh, or anything but it's a question of okay we get some uh, momentum in terms of business um See, end of the day, we cannot force any buyers to buy artwork, right? All we can do is give the opportunity to connect the artist with the art collectors and buyers. And if your artwork is something that they like, they will buy. So I thought that was probably at least we can do. So instead of the artist trying to sell within their small community, take it out globally, right? Take it to US, take it to... Uh, Europe, take it to Australia, New Zealand, take it to a bigger market where anyone can actually buy this um, with ease. Right. And most people are now sitting uh, or working from home and the digital connection is much more easier compared to what it was before. So most people buy from phones and computers. So this was kind of a kind of a not rocket science, but for the artist, the traditional artist, it, it was rocket science. So this is something new. Um, they haven't experienced before. So, yeah, I think I, I, I feel that we have done that to some extent uh, to get the credibility going. Because that was the time when you were convincing the artist and I was also contacting the art, artist personally just say Hamari Bath with the first time that I invited you to for my show. उसके बाद जब मैंने फोक आर्ट के बारे में जितना भी जाना है आपसे ही जाना है और आपकी वेबसाइट से ही जाना है एक्चुअली आई एम आल्सो लर्निंग एवरी डे अंजलि सो एवरी डे देयर इज समथिंग न्यू दैट कम्स अप देयर इज अ न्यू स्टाइल विद इन पर्टिकुलर लेट्स से स्टाइल ऑफ पेंटिंग देयर आर सो मेनी डिफरेंट वेरिएशंस इट्स इट्स अमेजिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन दैट वी हैव uh it's it's actually really disappointing to see uh, how much is already lost mm -hmm. and only very few people actually know about it and that's that's a sad part mm -hmm. so i think that's the really mera, sorry to interrupt you mera wohi ye question tha ke kahin na kahin kehte na muhavra ghar ki murghi dal barabar to kya aapko bhi lagta hai kya india mein hum utna importance folk art ko nahi dete jitna bahar diya jata hai um in a way it's true um we we don't have a solid promotion mm -hmm. um people what happens the problem is this has become something like uh, you come uh, you come to a tourist destination there is a, maybe a temple or something there and then you got small shops which right. sell this painting right 
so it's very very much linked to a low low value art right and people just don't uh, um, think about it mm-hmm. that uh, the uh, the amount of rich stories it has got uh, how actually it reflects the cultural significance of india for thousands and thousands of years just because you see it on the streets um, I, i think it lost lost a lot of value but the idea is how do you if we don't do anything now these will end up in museums uh, and a lot of them already are ending up in museums so the challenge is how do we make sure that this actually uh, stays and people see the value not just in the streets but at home so that we can be proud of the uh, painting that we had at home and we can tell the stories uh, and pass to the next generation that's a challenge um, but it will happen slowly uh, i see when we talk about it uh, to people once they realize the value then of course it becomes very much connected people like it they want to buy but it just the awareness is missing yeah uh, if you do the same thing outside of let's say india uh, like uh, in even australia the amount of importance uh, the indigenous paintings have got is very high because there is a lot of let's say uh, awareness and promotion uh, uh, within the within the, the within the country so that kind of uh, i think is missing and that's what we had to push and that's what, what we are trying to do and a lot of other organizations also doing it there are plenty of people trying to do exactly the same thing i think we need more people to come together um to promote so wh- how do you take those people as a competitor or as a part of the community who is trying to promote indian folk art no I, we we don't see anybody as competition if you if you are promoting um uh, any folk art we 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 partner we we are more than happy to help them support them uh, or um if, in any form so for us they are not competitive is absolutely not but our objective is not to let's say make money right our objective is to make sure that we actually promote and pass to the next generation so anybody who's doing in the similar um, motive uh, we we definitely are partners and even you have said that objective is not earning money but sir kahi na kahi money you might be needing for the website and all so how you manage that <laughs> uh currently i yeah, think yeah, uh maybe <laughs> nahi nahi i think it's i think it's something which uh, uh i'm very proud of i got friends uh, who are actually helping okay. we got a small friends from college uh, university uh they all have chipped in uh, uh invested and of course uh, there's a lot of investment also from my side which have all my savings i'm investing here um so putting that together i think it's uh, it's okay we, we don't we don't expecting returns but at least we have a satisfaction that we have uh, kind of given back to the folk art community so I'm money from, money will come ji ji you're saying something i'm saying money is not the only one uh, so money we got other ways of earning money this is more about uh, being let's say helpful in some form so yeah uh, from the i've seen the website pehle online payments start with you now we are you are trading in cryptocurrency also so please us bare mein bhi kuch bataiye hame yeah so <laughs> cryptocurrency so is a little bit what is cryptocurrency they don't know only so what exactly it is see if you, if you go back uh, it, it, i think there's a lot of bad publicity for cryptocurrencies right see see um i see cryptocurrency is next it is a fraud because when i speak to my friends are cryptocurrency it is a fraud they say like that <laughs> the, the the reason it's uh, like that is people uh, feel that it's not regulated um, I, i think the question of regulation will come very soon a lot of governments are talking about it um, cryptocurrency uh, is the future uh, like we have moved from uh, cash to credit cards right credit card is nothing but a digital currency right so in the next the next let's say secure way of transactions is going to be cryptocurrencies so the more people start talking about it the more people start using using this it will become let's say normal so if in in 5 years 10 years uh, i think most of the transaction will be cryptocurrencies 
So and for me, at this stage, we have to take uh, the technology leap so that we can connect with people who have cryptocurrencies and want to invest. So they are, they, they are customers as well, right? So cryptocurrency is an excellent way of connecting uh, artists who want to invest uh, or art collectors who want to invest. And it's just a payment mechanism. So it's nothing wrong with that. Um, and the question of regulation will come very, very soon. I, th I don't think it'll uh, be too long before we start seeing all major countries uh, using cryptocurrencies. So once it's regulated, then obviously it become easier. Uh, but from my side, I wanted to be uh, a leading platform to provide this to art collectors. So they know if they have uh, cryptocurrencies, yeah, we welcome that. Um, like we welcome credit cards, debit cards, mm -hmm. uh, and other ways of paying. PayPal is other, another one. So cryptos is another way of uh, helping customers invest. Sir, we said that we will do our own history. We will do our own history. But your artists, who are connected to your website, what do you want to do with your website and your website? I want to show you that. Okay. Namaskar. I am Sanjay Kumar. और मैं पुना से इंडियन फोक आर्ट डॉट ओ आर जी के लोक कला रत्न के इंटरनेशनल कॉम्पिटिशन में मैंने हिस्सा लिया और मुझे ये बताते हुए खुशी है कि मुझे वेस्टर्न रीजन में वार्ली पेंटिंग के लिए सेकंड प्राइज मिला और सदर्न रीजन के लिए कलमकारी के लिए मुझे पहला पुरस्कार प्राप्त हुआ है मेरा इनके साथ अनुभव जो है वो बहुत ही अच्छा है सारी प्रक्रिया एकदम ट्रांसपेरेंट थी मार्किंग पैटर्न्स वोटिंग पैटर्न्स उनके काउंटिंग जजेस के साथ हमारा इंटरव्यू भी हुआ और जो भी प्रक्रिया चली विनर चूजने की चूज करने की वो बहुत ही पारदर्शी थी इन इन्होंने अपनी वेबसाइट के द्वारा नए और उभरते कलाकारों को एक मंच प्रदान किया है कि वो अपनी खुद की गैलरी सेटअप कर सकते हैं और इनके जरिए ऑनलाइन अपने पेंटिंग की बिक्री भी कर सकते हैं इस बारे में भी मुझे बहुत अच्छा अनुभव रहा मेरी अब तक तीन पेंटिंग इनके वेबसाइट के जरिए बिक्री हो चुकी है और इनका जो फाइनेंशियल क्लियरेंस भी हिसाब किताब एकदम ठीक ठाक है मुझे बहुत आनंद है कि मैं इंडियन फोक आर्ट डॉट ओ के साथ जुड़ा हुआ हूँ संलग्न हूँ और मैं आप सभी को सभी कलाकारों को अपील करता हूँ जो भी पारंपरिक फोक आर्टिस्ट है कि इनके जरिए अपनी अपनी गैलरी सेटअप करें और अपने पेंटिंग को दुनिया भर में ले जाने में इनकी सहायता लें धन्यवाद नमस्ते ऑल द फोक आर्टिस्ट इंडियन फोक आर्टिस्ट स्पेशली इन ऑन अ प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ इंटरनेशनल लेवल एंड दे आर डूइंग सो वेल आई हैव बीन गेटिंग द good results from the competitions etc i'm seeing you the, your videos and the sale part of it is going very well please take care that you don't derive your attention from the original writing to any other part by mixing or by different thoughts it's it's going to be a very long way i wish sentinel well and the team members
very prospering things things are going a long way and it's going to take you to a destination of the world global wide is it being very well promising future for forecast so all the best mera anubhav sabse bahut hi acha raha hai right from beginning hum sab namaste main hu vandana rajan main ek saal pehle इंटरनेशनल इंडियन फोक आर्ट से जुड़ी उसका जो सफ़र है मेरा बहुत ही अच्छा था क्योंकि पहले भी मैं काम करती थी लेकिन जो उपाधि मुझे जो नाम मुझे इस गैलरी के साथ में जुड़ के मिला वो पहले नहीं था क्योंकि यहाँ पे मुझे आर्टिस्ट की भी उपाधि मिली और गुरु की उपाधि मिली जज की उपाधि मिली और बहुत से लोगों से मिलने का मुझे मौका मिला बहुत रिस्पेक्ट मिली ये कम तो नहीं है ना इसलिए मैं इंटरनेशनल इंडी फोक आर्ट को धन्यवाद करती थैंक यू मैं धर्मेंद्र यति राजस्थान ब्यावर से आप सभी को नमस्कार करता हूँ इंडियन फोक आर्ट के संस्थापक श्री सैंतिल जी को मेरा तय दिल से आभार नहीं के प्रयास से मैं इस संस्था से जुड़ पाया इस संस्था के साथ मेरा बहुत ही शानदार अनुभव रहा ये संस्था अपने आप में एक अनूठा कार्य कर रही है कलाकारों से सीधे ग्राहक के पास पेंटिंग खरीदने का बहुत ही अच्छा और सुनहर अवसर है विश्व में ये अपने आप में एक अनोखी संस्था है दोस्तों मेरी हार्दिक शुभकामना है ये संस्था अपने आप में बहुत ऊंचाइयां प्राप्त करे और इसका उज्जवल भविष्य हो यही मेरी हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं हैं धन्यवाद नमस्ते आप सभी को बधाई हो इंडियन फोक आर्ट गैलरी को पूरा एक साल हो गया है इस आर्ट गैलरी से हमको बहुत सहायता मिली है प्रोत्साहन मिला है देश विदेश में आर्टिस्टों का नाम हुआ है जो इस आर्ट गैलरी से जुड़े हैं उनको बहुत प्रोत्साहन मिला है और मदद मिली है इस डायरेक्टर साहब को मेरी तरफ से बहुत बहुत बधाई हो सैंथिल सर और पूरी टीम को हेलो एवरीवन आई एम हरिप्रिया नरसिम्हन फ्रॉम हैदराबाद आई एम हियर टू से फ्यू वर्ड्स अबाउट इंटरनेशनल इंडियन फोक आर्ट गैलरी I am extremely grateful to stumble upon this gallery and to Mr. Sendil for giving me an opportunity. I have always been interested in art and have had the experience in designing sarees. I continued my attention to my hobbies and with art being one of them, I started creating the mandala designs. I reached out to my circle of friends and relatives showcasing my art, but that was a rather small reach. That is why this gallery helped me immensely having viewers and buyers not local not national but on an international level this reach which i had never dreamt of this recognition had a profound impact on me and it drove me to create more of the art a special thanks to mr sendel who was instrumental in bringing my art to the world and who persuaded me to put up my work in the gallery this gallery is an excellent platform for the newcomers from all walks of life and with nothing to prove but to showcase their skills and talents I would like to once again thank this gallery for this very wonderful opportunity. Thank you very much. Namaste. I am Simi Rishi, a freelance artist and all-time learner. Uh my experience with folk art gallery, uh, Indian folk art gallery started in the year 2021. Um I received um, Lok Kala Ratna award as a participant and it was a wonderful you know experience um i really appreciate the vision santhil sir and the team has for all the folk artists it's really wonderful platform 
where everybody can find you know all the solutions under one roof learners can learners can learn so many different indian art forms folk art forms and as a teacher you can join uh, join the platform and you can teach and you can share what you have and those who can buy they can buy a beautiful wonderful folk paintings you know from the collection of folk art gallery so that is really appreciable and um, uh, i always advise each and everybody you know to be a part of this team um, my experience is great and um, i'm really uh, looking forward for a wonderful experience in future also wishing good luck and many many successful years um, in future also thank you namaste this is suhasini vinayak and i am a self taught artist it's been one beautiful year with international indian folk art dot org uh, the website has provided us provided us with a great platform uh, to meet other artists and also exhibit our work as artists we feel that um, we definitely need appreciating audience and the website provides us exactly that uh, indian folk art is definitely my love and i am fortunate enough to say that while art is my job it's also my passion and uh, with every piece that we create there is a lot of uh, heart and soul that we put in uh, with the piece so um, it is a great opportunity and honor that our work gets to be displayed in such a website and we are grateful for that so i want to take this opportunity to express my heartfelt thanks to the website um it it uh, it makes it makes a difference to us because uh it goes a long way in preserving the beauty that indian folk art truly is thank you so much namaste main abhishek joshi fard chitrakar rajasthan se lagbhag 1 varsh pehle international indian folk art gallery se main juda hu bahut hi acha anubhav raha hai कला हमारी कला को विश्वव्यापी बाजार हमको मिला है साथ ही साथ हमारी कला को पूरे विश्व के कला प्रेमी सीखे इसके लिए भी हमें प्लेटफॉर्म प्रदान किया गया है तो मैं हृदय से आभारी हूँ और धन्यवाद प्रदान करता हूँ कि इंटरनेशनल इंडियन फोक आर्ट गैलरी द्वारा जो ये किया गया प्रयास है वो बहुत ही सराहनीय है मैं पुनः हृदय से आभार व्यक्त करता हूँ धन्यवाद In February 2022, International Indian Folk Art Gallery is completing its first year. Congratulations on your well-deserved success. Uh, for the people who loves and inter- uh, appreciate uh, Indian art and wants to explore more, Sacred Root and in- International Indian Folk Art Gallery is coming up for surprise. So be with us and wait for surprise. So, sir, you have heard that. एक्चुअली मैं योर आर्टिस्ट आर वेरी हैप्पी जॉइनिंग यू एंड ऐसा ही नहीं है ये कहते हैं ना एक वो जो एक मल्टीप्लाई uh, हो जाती है नेटवर्क मार्केटिंग वैसा तो आपको ऑलरेडी हो रहा है यू नो बिकॉज ऑल आर लाइकिंग एंड लविंग यू स्पेशली दे टॉक अबाउट योर नेचर क्या बहुत हेल्पफुल है एंड आई हैव सीन यू द एपिसोड वेन वी वेन यू वर ऑन माई शो दैट टाइम एंड दिस टाइम हिंदी अभी आपकी हिंदी में जब भी आपसे बात करती हूँ इतनी ज्यादा इम्प्रूव हो गई है यू आर द वे यू आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द हिंदी ये आपने किससे सीखा इसका क्रेडिट आप किसको देना चाहेंगे आपको मिलेगा पहला क्रेडिट तो क्या हो रहा है कि मोस्ट ऑफ द आर्टिस्ट दे स्पीक हिंदी है ना तो एंड if i talk in english it's very difficult to communicate so uh, in fact i have i've learned hindi i uh, i used to talk hindi uh, but uh, because of the big gap um, for 20 years that it almost 25 years i didn't speak so it's coming back now talking to artists and talking to uh, uh, most people in uh, hindi is picking up and uh, even uh, when i talk to the artists about you they say ki aap एक्चुअली मैं उनको पर्सनल एक जो होता ना हेल्प लाइक हेल्प इन द सेंस के किस तरह से बिकॉज एज यू सेट दे आर नॉट नोइंग दिस टेक्नोलॉजी गैलरी क्या होती है ऑनलाइन क्या होता है हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल टू टेक ऑर्डर ऑनलाइन एंड ये जो आपने स्टार्ट किया है इट इज वेरी हेल्पफुल टू ऑल दी आर्टिस्ट एंड वेन वी वेन आई हर्ड योर कंसेप्ट मुझे भी यही चीज बहुत अच्छी लगी थी कि हाँ 
the people who are knowing is knowing but who are not knowing to tell them is the great thing so what ji you're saying something like yeah see basically i cannot take the credit for this yeah because i have a small team um i have priya who's uh, sitting there um i have uh, prabha i got uh, uh, subha is there um, and then i have kumar and then of course my wife is a big support she is doing a lot of work in the background uh, to support uh, plus i've got my friends who don't you don't you don't see no most people don't see so they in the background helping with the marketing and the infrastructure and uh, other things so we got a software team so a lot of people actually are contributing right so because we all have a passion uh, we all uh, want to do it uh, the same so from that point of view i think uh, uh, i i'm maybe the front end of most people see but the back end uh, they, they are um, working very hard for the same reason uh, so i w- i want to really thank my team um, and everybody who supported me uh, in this journey yeah i- including uh, my parents and my in-laws uh, my mother in law has been very helpful uh, in the entire journey uh, she runs the indian operations so she has been very instrumental in getting this also um, so i thank everybody uh, without them it would be impossible uh, to do what we have done the last 12 months so any negative comment you have you got it like aap to australia mein reh rahe ho india ke liye kaise karoge aisa sab kisi ne pucha hai aapse yeah i think almost everybody asked that question see the negative thing is if you, uh, the the challenge is not everybody gets a sale right the lot of artists uh, who do not get the sale hmm. uh so there is some artists who get the sale there are some artists who do not get the sale so and what i am trying to do is to help them because what happens is people uh, uh buy because they like certain art i may like certain art you may like different art right the uh, so it's very uh different it's it has got a perceived value hmm. um what i like and what you like may be completely different so the challenge is how do we uh, present the artwork to the artwork uh, to the art collectors and the buyers so that uh, they can get the maximum leverage uh, at the same time um, i also tell art uh, artists that they should be updating the gallery so if you put up artwork let's say um, two months back or three months back and you haven't added any new artwork to the gallery because you haven't got sale then of course what happens automatically the way the software algorithm works it it actually goes down because your gallery is not active right so uh, and the more you don't make it active the less uh, customers are going to see so sometimes what happens is people give up very early and they think it doesn't work and uh, unfortunately there's a lot of let's say artists who actually have beautiful artworks but doesn't come to the surface so what we are trying to do is we are trying to run com- ca- campaigns and promotions uh, on social media and uh, google and other a uh, platforms to bring those artworks to the surface and we we do get a lot of uh, let's say um, sale from that um, but i think it, it is uh, it, it is a, a long journey to make sure everybody gets a sale and if everyone gets a sale then we'll be very happy uh, i think that's that's what we want to achieve so we want to see that art collectors come here they know that all the indian art forms are available here so there there's a one platform where you can come and learn of course you can learn any art forms at the same time you can buy any art forms and we want to make this as the largest uh, platform for indian traditional uh, art art forms and even handicrafts we got a lot of handicrafts mm. um, and we got a lot of sale coming through for handicrafts now that's very uh, encouraging so yeah so we want to make this as a the largest platform for indian folk arts so how many artists have still joined you yeah so if you look at the last uh, 12 months we have now close to 400 artists from all over the world so uh, and it's of course all over the world but we also have uh, from all parts of india um, mm-hmm. so from north south east west central uh, almost all uh, focus we have uh, covered initially we used to ask artists to join but now we almost get 10 15 artists uh, every week uh, to uh, asking if you can join so that's very encouraging so we 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 have added the more resources to help 
the artist so that uh, they can join without any problems. Um, yeah, so very happy. What are the plans now? Abhi, jaise ki maine suna hai ki abhi offline exhibitions. So Indian Folk Art Gallery is doing anything about the exhibition? Yeah, so this is going to be a major uh, uh, launch for 2022. Um, we we could not do this last year, unfortunately. And now we feel that uh, with the pandemic, a little bit of easing off, hopefully it is easing off. We have planned for three um, major um, locations where we'll be doing offline exhibitions. So the first one is planned in Mumbai which is uh, on 28th of February starting uh, until 5th um, of March at the Bajaj Art Gallery in Mumbai. And after that, uh, we do have plan to do one in Bangalore, uh, depending on time permits uh, on the schedule. But uh, if you do it, then it will be immediately after the uh, Mumbai exhibition. Okay. Um, but uh, apart from that, we have two more uh, um, uh, locations that we will be doing this one is in Australia in uh, Melbourne and we'll also be doing in uh, Sydney so there are two locations within Australia we will be planning, planning this in this year and we'll also be doing in the US uh, we'll be doing this uh, uh, the first venue is going to be in uh, Washington DC and uh, then maybe in New Jersey there are two locations we have identified for the Washington DC we already have confirmation uh, for uh, Melbourne we have confirmation and Sydney, we, we are hoping to get the confirmation uh, uh, in the next, let's say, um, few weeks, maybe. So what we're doing now is uh, we are actually, we can't get artists to come to these exhibitions. It's too expensive for them to travel. So what we have decided to do is we, we are investing. So we are actually picking up artists. We are buying artworks and taking them to the exhibitions okay. um, to promote uh, the artist's work. At the same time, promote the the folk arts, and then help to sell this artwork uh, at this location. So, a lot of the artworks um, you, you don't find them uh, outside of India. So, by bringing them to closer to the to the uh, especially the Indian community, so we think that uh, they will be able to connect well um, and uh, buy this artwork. We also, have, in fact, we uh, in fact we get every uh, month at least 10 to 15 percent of the buyers are not actually Indians. Mm -hmm. So we do have a lot of uh, Western uh, uh, art lovers who actually buy Indian folk art. So I think by bringing it uh, closer to the Western community, uh, we can also connect uh, that uh, artwork with the rest of the world. I think that's very important. So right. not just focusing on the Indian community, but also take it to the bigger community. So. We think by taking it outside of India, we'll be able to reach uh, more uh, art lovers, and they'll be able to understand the art, artwork, and the culture uh, behind this, and the stories behind this much better. That's great. And ये जो आपने सोचा है idea means offline जाके the thing this is the biggest support an artist needs actually because exhibition में जाने के लिए भी they to display their paintings they need a lot of investment. And even to reach the place and all everything you're working on, is the jada artist kya expect kar sakte hai? Like it's very great, and I know ke ye to ek progress ho hi raha Indian folk art gallery ki, aur kahi na kahi is wajah se bhi ho raha hai. Itne sare artists ki duaye lagi, you know, you're getting the blessings of them because this is the just turn up for them. Ke ye koi aaya hai aur saath mein milke le the motive of yours I've seen that to walk together. It's not that you are going forward and we are following you. You are taking everyone together. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, we are trying to help as much as possible. Uh, we could do more, um, but uh, we are limited also with number of people. Um, also, I've seen that you promote the children also for this. Like, you should also know what the Indian folk art is. Because in their history books, there are some Varli paintings, but they are not books for the seriously later in your students mostly. So you have this idea that you should involve children in this way. See, I think the, uh, the, st the story about the kids is, uh, that's how I started because I was actually teaching, um, um, uh, uh, giving art classes to uh, uh, kids um, even before uh, this platform was launched. I was doing a lot of online uh, 
coaching for the kids and it was very obvious that if you want to take this to the next uh, generation you, you cannot uh, target just the uh, the adults right because then uh, by the time the adults uh, get fully matured we have lost a couple of generations in between right so if you start with the kids everything else automatically comes in place and you have got the also the fast uh, tracking of the entire process so you are almost gone straight uh, two generations ahead um so from that point of view i felt that it was very important we started the kids and that's how we started the uh, the children's uh, competition uh, uh, that was a starting uh, trigger for us that if, if you want to create awareness start with the kids automatically the parents get involved the teachers get involved and the whole community gets involved so uh, kids was always a strategy kids was always a strategy to uh, get uh, the indian folk art uh, the highest visibility तो ये मुंबई एग्जीबिशन में हमारे जो मुंबई कर्स है लाइक आई हैव बीन इन मुंबई तो वहां हम क्या देख सकेंगे वो हम जरूर जानना चाहेंगे आपसे या सो मुंबई वन मे देयर विल हैव टू पार्ट्स टू दिस द वन पार्ट विल बी ऑल द विनर्स फ्रॉम द कंपटीशन we have picked up uh, around 40 uh, art uh, arts from this uh, artworks from the winners so we will be creating that throughout the exhibition at the same time i want to also have uh, uh, the professional traditional uh, artist paintings mm-hmm. the, the style of painting which people have not seen um, so we all, will also displaying those paintings uh, so people can see um, how it is done traditionally how it looks and we'll try to bring as many um, folk arts as possible so at least two or three but the main theme for this will be from the from my point of view will be the tanjore painting so because i want to do that as a first one so we'll have at least uh, i'm targeting at least 25 to 30 tanjore paintings different styles within because in tanjore painting there's also different styles of tanjore paintings from different regions within the uh, within tamil nadu so we want to bring different styles of tanjore paintings um, there plus we'll also have other uh, four cards from india so that will be the main um, theme so we'll have the competition we'll have the tanjore painting as a main theme uh, in the uh, four cards and then surrounded with the uh, other four cards from india uh, picking the one which is going to be very uh, unique people have not seen and uh, and also the artists who have a uh, very traditional artist you are talking about traditionally banai hui tanjore painting is very rare to see matlab yeah so absolutely exhibition mein it will be very nice to see that so we'll have traditional tanjore paintings done by uh, artists who have been doing this for hundreds of years uh, so we'll have paintings from them this will be like for me uh, it's most of this is my collection so i'll be bringing them there um then we'll also have uh, paintings from other tanjore painting artists from different regions uh, who are first generation artists uh, some of them are also amateur artists but their work is very good so i'm going to bring those works so it will be combination of uh, traditional paintings uh, the, the latest let's say uh, generation of uh, tanjore paintings uh, which will be 3d embossed paintings uh, we'll have semi embossed paintings we'll have antique uh style paintings we'll have uh, the, of course the original traditional paintings so we'll we'll bring them to uh, the audience so they can see that not all tanjore paintings are same um uh, and i'll have probably some kind of uh, uh samples to show the difference uh, so that people can understand why this is so expensive and why this is actually uh, not so expensive so it will be a good journey for people to explore um your paintings and we will do that with the similar exhibition so we'll pick one main theme and then have the supporting uh, folk arts to that so that way we we can bring a lot more uh, a flavor to the exhibition means the exhibition se exhibition mein kya hai na ki knowledge bhi badega jis tarah se aap keh rahe ho ki you are going to i have heard about the workshop is also going to be there yeah so we 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 are planning two workshops uh, live workshops um one is patachitra 
So I'm getting a traditional artist from Odisha to spend uh, the entire week at the exhibition. So he he will take on uh, the different uh, steps uh, for Patijara painting, and he will uh, do it live. Um, and then we'll probably do some kind of live streaming and uh, in social media to see what's happening. Then I'm bringing Pichwai artist, uh, very similar uh, uh, style. Uh, again, a traditional artist uh, who lives on paintings, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Pichwai, uh, Pichwai paintings. And they will do, uh, he, uh, he will do exactly the same thing. He'll, he'll take a, a subject and then start to finish, do it live in front of the audience. People can watch, they can ask questions. Um, they can understand exactly how this painting is done. So by looking at this, then we have an idea of um, how uh, the, uh, the most important stories behind this. No, it's just not the actual process of collecting, uh, the, doing the paintings, but the story behind what they uh, what they're doing. That's that's very important. The culture is yeah. That's very great, and I will say all the Mumbai because you must visit this. Mumbai Pune. So past past me, Jodi hand, they will probably will be coming for the exhibition. Yeah, please, please visit us. Please support the artist. Please support the Indian folk art. It'll be nice uh, to. Uh, I'll be there, so I'm planning to come as well. So hopefully we can uh, see as many uh, art lovers there. Sir, I will ask you the most important question: <laughs> How you are feeling on the show after one year? I'm very happy, very, very happy. Um, I'm very also happy that we had this partnership uh, with you and your team. I think it has worked very well for us. Uh, and I hope the, the journey continues. Uh, I think together we can uh, make a difference uh, with art collectors and art lovers. So thank you for your support, Anjali. Uh, from there, my passion has also become that when I see a traditional art, I ask the person whether you have joined the gallery or not. <laughs> So I'll say thank you so much, sir, for being on the show and also to choose our show to celebrate this occasion, actually. So uh, it's not, I always say to you, it's not about you only because we are our whole community, the Indian Folk Art Gallery. We all want to thank you. So thank you so, so much. And thanks to you and all your team. Uh, it was a fantastic uh, relationship and uh, partnership that we had in the last 12 months. So thank you again so much, Anjali. Thank you very much. All the thank best. You. Thank you so much, sir. Namaste. So friends, Indian Folk Art Gallery is not a gallery, a website. This is a community where Indian Folk Art lovers and artists, traditional culture, is more and more. As Central Wells Day said, the farm, the Indian Folk Art, who are promoting it, they are not our competitors, they are our partners. जी हाँ तो आज ही लॉगिन करिए www.indianfocart.org पर और हाँ भूलिएगा मत मुंबई में 28 फरवरी से 6 मार्च तक बजाज आर्ट गैलरी जरूर विजिट करिए एक्सिबिशन जहाँ आपको हर तरह का फोकार्ट देखने मिलेगा एंड स्पेशली जो कहा सेंट्रल बिल्डिंग ने कि टेंजोर आर्ट का थीम है जहाँ आप देख सकेंगे कि ट्रेडिशनल टेंजोर पेंटिंग में � तो जरूर विजिट करिएगा बाजार आर्ट गैलरी 28 फरवरी से 5 मार्च वहां आपको मैं भी मिलूंगी तो जरूर मिलेंगे वहां तो आ जाइए छोड़िएगा मत तो फ्रेंड्स लेती हूं आपसे विदा फिर मिलेंगे हम अगले हफ्ते किसी और पैशनेट गेस्ट के साथ और यूं ही बनाए रखिए अपना प्यार और सपोर्ट दानवीर और टॉक शो के साथ क्योंकि यहीं पर मिलेगी आपको बहुत सारी पैशन जर्नी जो आपको देंगे बहुत सारा इंस्पिरेशन तो चलिए जाती हूं मैं फिर मिलेंगे बाय-बाय